these biceps, I want to put on five extra pounds of lean body mass by the end of the month. Give me a sec. <sighs> Protein for the gains. Now 2022, better get ready for all this flex appeal because that's five extra pounds of pure muscle mass. Or is it? Now people often use the terms lean body mass and muscle mass interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. These are two very different parts of your body composition. And to understand your weight, your health, and your fitness goals, you need to understand the difference between them. Now what exactly is lean body mass? What is muscle mass? And how can you know if your gains with an S or gains with a Z? Well, stay tuned folks, because I got you covered. Today, we're gonna be going over all things lean body mass and muscle mass so that you can understand what they are and how they can influence changes in your body composition. Let's dive in. All right, first things first. Yes, it is true. Your lean body mass includes your muscle mass. But that's not all, folks. Your lean body mass consists of many parts. It consists of your muscle mass, your organs, your skin, bones, and body water. To put it more simply, your lean body mass is the total weight of your body minus your fat mass. This is why lean body mass is also known as fat-free mass. Now, because your lean body mass is composed of so many parts, any change in weight in any of these areas will be recorded as a change in lean body mass. However, the weight of your organs and your skin won't really change much. Your bone density will decrease over time with age, but it won't significantly influence the weight of your lean body mass. That leaves just two major influencers when it comes to changes in lean body mass. Muscle mass and body water. Now muscle mass is the size of your muscles. But guess what gang, we gotta break it down even further because there are three major types of muscles. There's cardiac muscle, smooth muscle, and skeletal muscle. When people talk about muscle mass, AKA getting on the gains train, they're typically referring to skeletal muscle mass because it's the only type of muscle that you can actively grow with proper exercise and nutrition. But remember folks, skeletal muscle mass is only one part of your lean body mass. Another major influencer is body water. And this can be a big problem when people use muscle mass and lean body mass interchangeably. While an increase in skeletal muscle mass definitely contributes to an increase in lean body mass, so does water. And our bodies are full of the wet stuff. In fact, the human body's water content ranges from 44.6% to 75.7%. It's also important to note that muscle itself contains up to 79% water. And research has shown that resistance training promotes an increase of this intracellular water. Furthermore, an increase in lean body mass is not always an increase in muscle. Body water can fluctuate throughout the day. For example, you can step on the scale, weigh yourself, then guzzle 16 ounces of water, step back on the scale, and your weight will have increased by one pound. And this would technically be a gain in lean body mass. The two main takeaways here are a big increase in lean body mass that happens quickly is largely due to increases in body water. And it's difficult to know how much any gain in lean body mass is due to skeletal muscle mass. So dang, you mean I've been hitting the weights like crazy, chugging protein shakes on the daily, only to find out my hard earned five pounds of lean body mass is not five pounds of pure muscle gains? Man, hashtag things I cry about before bed. 
since we now know there's a significant difference between lean body mass and skeletal muscle mass, just how is it possible to know how much of each you have? To calculate what is happening with your lean body mass, you need to get your body composition analyzed. There's a few ways to do this. Skin calipers, which measure the folds of the skin, bioelectrical impedance analysis, or BIA, which is a handheld device that sends a small electric current through the body to measure body fat. Some home scales and smart scales can do this now as well, which makes it super convenient. There's DEXA scans, which use low energy x-rays to determine body fat. There's also hydrostatic or underwater weighing, using the principle that muscle is more dense than fat, or muscle sinks, fat floats, they can use this to approximate the percentage of body fat. And there's also air displacement plethymography, which uses whole body densinometry to determine body fat. Now, most of these methods of body composition analysis will, at a minimum, separate your body into lean body mass or fat-free mass and fat mass. And some more sophisticated methods will differentiate between skeletal muscle mass and lean body mass. Now, keep in mind, some of these methods are more accurate than others, but none of them are perfect. They all use assumptions, imperfect estimations, and data calculations. They're also subject to manipulation. The truth is, none of these methods will be 100% accurate. However, tracking your measurements is important for noting your overall trend over the course of several weeks. The best thing to do is pick a method that you can use consistently and under the same conditions. To sum it up, Lean body mass and muscle mass are not the same. Lean body mass includes muscle mass as well as organs, skin, bones, and body water. If you're performing resistance training or weightlifting and consuming adequate protein, it is likely a percentage of the increase of your lean body mass is muscle mass, or more specifically, skeletal muscle mass. Another major contributor in changes in lean body mass is body water. This makes accurate estimations of the real gains with a Z challenging without sophisticated tools to analyze your body composition. Even so, no method of body composition analysis will be 100% accurate. But if used consistently and in the same conditions, you can be confident in the trend over time. Thanks for tuning in, gang. My full written post with notes and graphics that go along with this video can be found on my website at carriedherrera.com slash lean body mass dash versus dash muscle mass. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. If you have any questions or if you'd like more content like this, let me know in the comments. Give me a like, share, tell your friends. And until next time, remember, start small, have fun, and be committed.